guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Delise, and I am the mom of this wonderful channel, the Crespo Crew. I'm and pregnant and completely out of breath, so I hope my breathing doesn't annoy you too much. Um, today, I wanted to go ahead and film all the stuff that I'm putting in my hospital bag to take to the hospital with me. So I guess I'll start off by showing you guys the actual bag that I'm bringing. And so I am actually bringing a small size carry-on suitcase. The brand is Rockland and it's like these, the hard suitcases and it's just a small carry-on. I just thought, first of all, I didn't want to go out and buy a bag because I won't use it after this. Um, I have so many like totes and things that I carry with me. And then also I just thought the wheels would be awesome for my husband to be able to just like wheel it into the hospital. Just get into everything I'm packing. So I'm going to start with my husband's stuff just because it's the least amount of stuff. So it's easiest. So I packed him these brown sweatpants. These are like old as dirt sweatpants. Um, if you remember like in the 90s and 2000s, like these big cargo sweatpants were very popular. But these are my husband's favorite pants in the whole world. They're the only ones that are super dingy, so I've let him keep them. Um, so I'm going to pack these just so he'll be comfortable um, in the hospital. I'm also going to pack him some basketball shorts um, in case he's hot, which I highly doubt because he's a very cold person. But um, Or if I decide to get in the shower during labor and he wants to you know, come in and run my back or anything, like he can get wet in these as opposed to these big sweatpants that would be horrible to have to try. Um, I'm also packing him like a light like sweater jacket type thing just because like I said he's very cold um, like he's a cold person he gets cold easily so I figured like a light sweater would be nice for him. I'm packing him a pair of his jeans um, and two shirts. I have a green one and a blue one they're exact same they're just um, like these dry fit shirts by I think yeah champion C9 by champion these are from Target um, so I'm packing him two shirts some underwear underwear socks um, white tees which he wears under his shirts and that is it that's all I'm packing for him other than a toothbrush and toothpaste and he can use my soap and face wash if he does decide to shower in the hospital so that's what I'm bringing for my husband for myself this gets a little more involved. Um, I'm bringing slippers and I have these little um, slippers actually my husband brought home from work. They're just Delta slippers. They're like not the best quality but just for if I want to walk around while I'm in labor. Um, I know I'll need something for my feet. I also have two pairs of socks. And the story behind these socks is that actually for Easter, my husband and kids made me a Easter basket filled with stuff like for the baby and for me. It was really sweet. And they put these socks in there. And I hate hospital socks and my husband knows that. So they got me two pairs of these socks. These are like thicker if it's colder and these are thick but still a little bit thinner so I'm bringing both pairs of socks for myself. I'm also packing underwear. Um, these are the Fit For Me by Fruit of the Loom for seamless briefs. Um, these are in the plus size and I got them in a size bigger um, and they just seem like soft and comfortable for postpartum. I figured these would be good. And then so underwear, okay, I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. I don't plan on bringing a bra. Um, well, besides like this uh, normal bra that I've been wearing, I'm not getting a nursing bra. I hated nursing bras with both of my other kids. I would much rather wear like a tank that has the built-in bra or just a regular bra. So I'm not wasting my money on a nursing bra. So um, I'm not bringing any like specific nursing bra for postpartum or anything like that. But I am bringing a variety of different types of clothes. So I'm bringing two tank tops, just, these are just plain tank tops that 
I wear usually under my clothes. And then I'm bringing a pair of sweatpants that are like big and loose and comfy um, just in case I get cold or I just feel like wearing sweatpants. And then I'm going to bring a t-shirt, just a big comfy loose t-shirt. This one is my hashtag mom life teacher. It's a t-shirt. It says yoga pants, messy hair, Target, Starbucks, hashtag mom life on it. And it's just comfy, soft, lightweight t-shirt. So I'm bringing that just in case. I'm thinking more like for sleeping I might wear that stuff. And then I'm bringing three of the same style thing and I'll show you all three of them. We bought these, okay, here's the story. I went to Target looking for a dress for my baby shower and I went to the maternity section and all of their dresses, like they didn't have any maxi dresses and all of their dresses because of my curviness like boobs and butts and then belly were way too short for my liking. I don't really like stuff that's like above my knees um, just because I think I, my knees are ugly <laughs> but also just I, I don't feel comfortable bending and stuff so I looked we looked for dresses and right next to the maternity section was like the pajama section and my husband spotted this And this is actually a nightgown, but it's so cute. I wore it for all of my baby showers. Well, my two baby showers for family and friends. Um, and it's super duper comfortable. So I have, I don't even see the size on this one. But okay, so I have this one, which I wore for my baby showers. They're nightgowns. And then like, I'll show you here. Here's my black and gray one. They have padding, like in the boob area, so it'll like cover up like nippleage, whatever. Um, so I don't have to worry about wearing a bra. They're very comfortable. The straps are adjustable. Um, they have like a little bit of elastic underneath, like the breast area, so it does support it a little bit, not a bunch, but a little bit. So I've got these two, which I've had and I've worn, the gray and black and this one. And then we went to Target and we bought this one, which I have not worn yet. I might wear before I get to the hospital, not sure, um, since I'm going to pack it up now. And this is like in a dusty purple. And I think even after I have the baby, these will be great to just be around the house in. And then I'm also just bringing one of these like long flowy cardigans that I have. These are like a staple in my closet. I have so many of them. This one's by Ava and Viv. I've had this for a while. I actually bought it for work when I started working last August and it's not super heavyweight but I feel like if I'm a little chilly I could put this over the dress and I'll be okay and um, it's like flowy and big and those are comfortable okay so clothing wise that's all I'm bringing let's get into like I've got a few pouches let's see one two three four pouches <laughs> So this one is like a, one of those wet bags. I bought this actually when I took my Girl Scouts camping for me and Kaylee's to pack our stuff in, like our toiletries and stuff. And it's just like this purple see-through. I think it's like meant to take to like the beach or the pool, but I don't know, it's big. That's why I'm using it. So I'm bringing, okay, I don't know if I've mentioned in this video yet, my husband works for an airline, so we do get like random things when they do random things at his job so we've got these little travel toothbrushes with travel toothpaste so rather than pack our regular toothbrushes or even go out and get new ones I had these on hand so I grabbed these so we've got one for me one for my husband I've got my face wash which I just use this Cetaphil gentle skin cleanser um, actually the whole family uses this my kids wash their face with this me and my husband so I got this little travel size I actually bought a big like pack of it at Costco a while back and it brought this little travel sizes and two big bottles and I refill this every time we've traveled. I have a deodorant and I just use the Dove whatever. I have the face moisturizer that I use and I just use the Up and Up brim. It's the Illuminating Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 15. Um, this works for me. Just I found this pregnancy my face has been extra dry and this has worked very well for that. So I have a bottle that I'm keeping at home and I bought an extra one to bring to the hospital. I have 
shampoo and conditioner They're from Shea Moisture and I actually got these in an influencer box for free and Shea Moisture is my absolute favorite stuff to use in my hair um, that's all I used in my hair today just wash it dry it and then they have like the curl enhancing smoothie they have a gel they have a mousse I think today I only put the mousse in my hair um, it keeps the frizz down and it makes my curls look pretty so I'm bringing the shampoo and conditioner with me to the hospital because I won't be straightening my hair or anything before I deliver um, just I it's too hot to straighten my hair here in Georgia so I'm bringing shampoo and conditioner oh and these are in the coconut and hibiscus scent if anybody's wondering it's really good I recommend it if you have naturally curly hair I'm bringing what's left <laughs> of this Bath and Body Works Be Joyful, Be Joyful um, Body Mist and the reason I grabbed this was first of all there's not much left in it anyways but I, I love the smell of this and I feel like a body like mist or spray would be better than a perfume and this is the only body mist I have left over I need to go buy some and then I have just soap and we travel a lot we have a lot of things from hotels and stuff and I end up keeping like the little soaps and stuff and I have like a little jar in my kids bathroom which doubles as the guest bathroom for when guests come if they need shampoo conditioner or anything like that and they don't want to use what we have but I just grabbed a moisturizing body bar and this is by Eco Botanics and it's chamomile and honey with organic olive oil um, it seems like it'll be okay for the time I'm in the hospital to wash my body with so and I don't know if the hospital provides soap and I'm sure they do but I figured I'd bring this with me just in case I have a EOS lip chapstick this is the pink one I don't know what the smell is I'm guessing like strawberry or something um, I know I will need this my lips chap a lot I'm also going to have another one in my little purse that I will obviously my purse that I'm bringing with me I carry a chapstick in it but I brought an extra just in case. And then I brought this Rodan and Fields Essentials Daily Body Moisturizer. Um, my husband actually has a coworker that sells Rodan and Fields and she actually gave me this as a gift. This is my second bottle. I'm almost done with it. Um, this has enough in it. I love this. It's very moisturizing and I feel like this will be perfect for the hospital because I feel like my hands and feet are going to be really dry in the hospital. So that's everything I have in this little bag. That's kind of just like all of our toiletry type things. I'll just show you guys this pouch really quick. This is if you can dream it, you can do it. Um, this has like headphones, my vlogging camera, camera charger, and all that good stuff in here. I'll be adding this video camera. I will be packing up the tripod that you guys are sitting on now and then phone chargers into this and this will just be like all of our electronic stuff so my husband can take pictures or record i could take pictures we can charge our phones things like that so that's what's in there a little makeup pouch and i am bringing some makeup i am not a makeup wearer i'm not wearing makeup today i had mascara and eyeliner on today because i had a doctor's appointment with my high-risk doctor um but other than that i don't wear a lot of makeup but i figure just to make myself feel like normal and more put together while I'm in the hospital. So first off I've got my wet brush and I've got a few hair ties attached to it. I've got a bright pink one for some reason and a black one just to put my hair up. I also have two of these like stretchy thick headbands and this is mostly for while I'm in labor just to like put them up and keep my hair out of my face. So I brought two just because I don't know which one's going to stay on my head better. Um, bringing that and then we have makeup so I'm not bringing a lot like I said I have this covergirl ready set gorgeous um, BB cream I have an NYC powder like I really don't wear makeup often this is the only powder I have but just in case I need it um, this stuff I use quite often this one's actually almost empty I'm gonna need a new one but this is the elf HD lifting concealer. Um, I feel like I'm gonna need concealer after I go into labor. I'm bringing this little hard ca candy eyeshadow palette um, just because I like the colors that are in it. My eyeliner which is just the um, L'Oreal Paris Infallible which I love and I have my liquid eyeliner which is the number seven stay perfect liquid eyeliner 
And then I just, this little pouch came with this hard candy palette when I got it as a gift. Just has a few like eyeshadow brushes, this brush, just probably to put the powder on, an eyebrow brush thing. So I just kept that all in there. And then I have my mascara, and this is the number 7 Lash Impact Intensive Volume Control. I love this mascara. My sister actually gave me all this number 7 stuff. She's like way more into makeup than I am. <laughs> I also have a few of these like little clippies. I use some clips in case I need to clip my hair back. I just don't want it to be in my face. <laughs> and then this little pouch is actually a Pampers pouch that was given to us at Babies R Us. Um, like with our registry or whatever and all I have in here is a bunch of samples of nursing pads so I got these from multiple places I've got them just in case I need them and I also have a few of the packs of the HPA lanolin in here let's see there's one two three four five six of these little sample packs so, so that's everything for me and my husband that's what's gonna be in the suitcase now for the baby my husband actually wants me to bring the diaper bag along. Um, so this is an Eddie Bauer Places and Spaces um, diaper bag. It's just like a backpack type. This is from Target. I think this is exclusively for Target. Um, and this is in the color Rainier. It has this little pouch on the inside. And so in this pouch I have, and these just fell out, that's why I'm showing this first, some pacifiers. Now these are the Tommy Tippy pacifiers. Um, they're actually nighttime pacifiers, but there's a reason why I'm bringing these. Um, they are for newborns, but these nighttime pacifiers, these little teeny tiny things, we're bringing them because I have teddy bears on them. Now I'm bringing both of them in the little case they came in, but they are sanitized already. Um, teddy bears is kind of our thing with this baby. Something that's missing that's also going to go in this little pouch is some baby nail clippers. I um, still need to go to Baby's R Us and get some of those, um, but I know I'm going to need them and I might buy him like some of those little mitts you put over their hands just so they don't scratch their face, but I'm not sure because I felt like those were such a waste of money with my other two kids. They would just fall off their little hands, so I'm like toying with that. I'm going back and forth with it. Um, also in this little pouch I have socks, so I have just, you know, regular newborn socks and I have these. These are actually part of his going home outfit. They're a little teddy bear like knitted slipper things. They might not fit his feet, but I want them anyways. Um, and these are by Just One, Just One You made by Carter's. This is from Target. I bought these like right when we found out it was boy. And I have baby's brush and comb. And that's everything that's going to be in this little pouchy in here. All right. I'm also bringing him two burp cloths. Um, this is just like one of your standard Gerber ones. And I'm also bringing this one, which was actually made for me. And um, my husband has family members that make these. I'm bringing one of my muslin um, blankets. This is by Aiden and Anais. Okay, so this I just bought. So I'll do a close up now. And it's a little teddy bear hat with little sneaker socks, which I don't know if they will work for us, but it's his little brother. <laughs> and it's a teddy bear. So I had to buy it. Um, the kids, when they come see the baby, will have special shirts on that my husband and I are making for them. So, um, you know, they'll say something about being older siblings. So I wanted to have something cute for the baby to wear to take their first little sibling picture so I thought this was cute because it's his little brother. And then this is baby's coming home outfit. Um, his godparents, we were we wanted something like this and we had said it to his godparents and they picked this up and it's from Baby's R Us, it still has the tags on it. Um, I should probably wash this stuff before, wash this before I take it, um, his coming home outfit but I just wanted to show it to you guys and it's just like a little bow tie and vest and a little onesie and then we bought him some jeans at Target to go along with it just to make it a little more casual it's probably gonna be hot the jeans will probably really only be for picture purposes and then we'll probably just bring them home in the onesie um, 
but I know they do photography in their coming home outfits so I wanted to get him little jeans I didn't want him to just be in onesie and that'll be with those little gray slipper socks and that's everything I'm bringing for the baby really quickly a few things I forgot to mention before I close this video out is that I am bringing a picture a family picture of us this is from a few years ago when we went to Disneyland um, this is actually the picture I keep on my desk at work um, it's kind of like my motivation so to push and everything I remember when I took my first birthing class with Kaylee's that they told us to pick like a focus point um, so I want to bring that picture of the kids just to have their whole well, our whole family just to have their to remind me why I'm going through all this um, it's because of my family and the other thing which I had here but I forgot to mention is that we are bringing blankets this is like my absolute favorite flea so we're bringing our own blankets and I'm sure my husband will be bringing a pillow I will just use whatever the hospital has because I'm used to sleeping with that gigantic maternity pillow behind me and I'm not planning to bring that with me but that's everything I'm Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, leave me comments down below if you think I missed anything. I know I'm going to bring snacks for my husband. I didn't include that either because I'm sure we will just grab whatever's there and just stick it in his little lunchbox and we'll bring that. Um, and then I can eat something from there if I want to. Or there's vending machines, there's a Wendy's, there's a McDonald's, a Chick-fil-A. There's like a bunch of stuff by the hospital. So we'll be okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.